Which brings us to the Yoruba. In the 20th century, the Yoruba are considered to be amongst the most skilled artists on the continent. Of course, this is a very subjective statement. It's something that's written about in textbooks, but scholars of African art, there aren't too many, but there are some, of course, argue this based on their own particular ideas of art. And they exist in basically southwestern Nigeria. And in this case, we're looking at a specific artist, Oloe of Isi. And Oloe is a leading Yoruba sculptor. He creates these tall veranda posts. Uh, in this case, this is a veranda post for the home of a specific chief. Now, he does a few things. Let's break this apart first while we're looking at it. So the top piece here is actually a support. So the beam for the veranda, or basically a porch, would fit in this slot at the head. Next we have the chief, or a depiction of the chief. And this could be considered an equestrian portrait. We have the donkey or horse, probably a donkey here, and he's sitting on it. The neck is elongated to give it a sense of grace and power, something that we see in Western art, such as mannerism. He's holding a spear, another symbol of power. The animal, you'll notice, is much smaller than would be in life. That smaller animal is because no one cares about the animal. The animal is not important. It is a symbol and nothing more. So you shrink it so that people focus on the chief and not the horse. Now, this is where the ground is. This would normally be the end. But of course, a veranda post has to be very long and thin to uh, fulfill its purpose. Probably straight lines would be nice, but to fulfill its purpose of holding up this roof. So he adds an additional level here with four figures underneath. And these figures serve to elongate the composition overall, also to give us a sense of status. Generally, we associate extra people or possibly servants with people in positions of power. And these elongated bodies are going to be a characteristic of the artist. One of the support figures even wears a European build hat. Now, these veranda posts exist in front of the home. They give a sense of status, not only for the person, but for the family to which they belong. Very similar to, for example, totem poles that you would see in the Pacific Northwest. And this becomes a massive symbol, something that you can't miss because, of course, you're either walking past or entering into this person's home. So you're going to have to come face to face with their status. Imagine if we did the same thing. I would argue that cars and large McMansions probably do the same thing for people today. And this very complex image, the figure, the animal, donkey, horse, the figures underneath, really give us a sense of the artist's skill, being able to take them, put these figures, these elements together into a well-composed single image or single post. 